Neither is that good enough from a Mexican perspective. They'll pile a bit of pressure on themselves now. Veron slips it wide for Jan Koto. Back in here, Veron again on the left foot. Squares it. Where do they appear from all these bodies? They keep appearing, and that's off the crossbar as well. And then as it comes down, it's over the top. You get the feeling this is not going to be Brazil's night. How unlucky is this? The pullback there, Veron, and then a swing of the right boot from Lazarou, and then a swing of the right boot as well from further back from uh, Daniel Cabral. Off the crossbar, oh, what a worthy effort this was. And uh, tipped against the crossbar by the goalkeeper. Mexico hanging on for dear life, and it would have been Cabral's first goal of the World Cup as well. But at moments like that, you do feel that this is just maybe destined not to be Brazil's night. You can see talking going on between referee and uh, VAR, and there's a possible penalty foul. Now, this is a massive, massive moment in the final of 2019. Referee Andres Tremanes is coming to have a look to see if there was a foul there. It's uh, by Gomez on Veron, and if it's a penalty kick, there is breathing space for Brazil. He certainly lunges for the ball, he takes Veron out there, Veron leaps over him, but was it a foul? The referee Timanis has to make the decision, he'll be very, very popular if he comes away from the monitor and points to the penalty spot. And referees are not meant to be popular, they're meant to be accurate in their decision-making. And here he comes on the consultation, he gives the penalty! And Brazil has a lifeline, and the Mexicans looked in disbelief. Relief on the face of the coach, it may be a yellow card as well for Gomez. Well, this is why we have VAR. Veron went flying over the outstretched legs of Alejandro Gomez. But what a moment this in the final of 2019 for the Under-17 World Cup. Just when Brazil were beginning to believe it was not their night and they were running out of opportunities. They have been handed a lifeline and Cal Jorge has scored a penalty at this end of the stadium in a previous fixture against Chile. But it's a massive moment for Cal Jorge, it's a massive moment for Brazilian football. The goalkeeper Eduardo Garcia saved three Netherlands penalties in the semi-final. Can he effect another save now or will Cal Jorge bring Brazil level? Huge moment in the final. The striker from Santos has Brazil's fate in his hands with seven minutes left. If he scores, it's game on again. It is Cal Jorge. A shuffling run up, and the ball in the net. The crowd roars as one. Brazil's dream is alive. Cabrello hit the crossbar a moment earlier, leads the, uh, the prayers, and Cal Jorge, with his fifth goal of this World Cup, has given Brazil hope of taking this match, the final, either to a penalty shootout or even to a victory in the six remaining minutes. He held his nerve, don't they know it? The keeper, Garcia, goes the right way. He gets a fingernail on it but it brushes off that nail into the corner of the net. And we have a scoreline now of Mexico 1, Brazil 1 in the final of 2019. If ever a goal was needed, it was then for Brazil. They were beginning to run out of hope. And only the VAR assistance on the decision has given the Brazil dream a boost five minutes to go what a five minutes we have in prospect here again in Estadio Bezeral which was a cauldron the other evening when Brazil came back to beat the French can they come back to beat Mexico now they'll certainly come on strongly 
the wrong played his part in winning the penalty. He's there again now, and the ball is nudged forward. Who's going to win this one? Brazil will win it. And they'll give it to Jan Koto. A run on the outside, a curling cross in from him, a straightforward header, and it's bounced back and it's going to go. Kept off the line, another shout for another penalty, but a goal kick to be given, I'm pretty sure. Frantic, that's the only word for it. And uh, again, there might be a question here. Once again, contact between uh, all the officials on and off the field of play. Flicked off the head, it might have been a chance of a, or a thought of a penalty kick there for a handball that certainly wasn't the case and the ball was hoofed away to safety by uh, Gomez and play will continue because there was no offence committed the game the other evening between Brazil and France here was quite simply one of the most tumultuous I think I've ever seen certainly on the 17 level where France thought they'd got the winner with a header from uh, centre-back in the last minute. That was ruled out by VAR for offside, and within 30 seconds, Lazaro was at the other end of the field, putting the ball into the French net to win the match for Brazil. They're hoping that Lightning can strike twice. Diego's pass to Veron, drifts in field. Now we're going to have the second penalty shootout of this under-17 World Cup. Or can either Mexico or Brazil snatch the victory in the three remaining minutes plus the added time? Back from Corto to Diego, whistle gone, free kick Mexico. And Brian Gonzalez there, who thought he'd got the winner. He's got a bit of a pain in the mouth as well, I think. Two and a half minutes on the clock. Mexico will drill it up to the edge of the 18-yard area, safely away. And Veron on the charge, fires it through. There's clear ground here to work with. It's familiar ground as well for Lazaro, and straight at the keeper this time. Lightning didn't quite strike twice, but it was virtually the same scenario as the other evening with Lazarou approaching on the angle of the 18-yard area, but this time the keeper equal to the shot. Cabral having to fight hard to win the ball there. Two minutes to go. The crowd once again here at Fever Pitch. Jan Koto will keep going down that touchline. Checks in field now, always looks to find Veron. Said it comes back here to Cabral. Gonzalez. Mexico's opportunity as well. Let's not lose sight of the fact that they could win this inside the closing seconds as well. And Luna's pass there and gives them encouragement. Not for long. And then anywhere will do from the boot of Patrick. Pizzuto. Well, all sorts of thoughts occur at a time like this. And one primarily going through my mind right now is the fact that uh, in 2013, these two nations drew one apiece in Dubai. And Mexico prevailed 11 10 on penalties, a record for an under 17 World Cup shootout. We're not quite there yet, but we are in the last 30 seconds. Chance for Brazil to get something still with Veron. Well, he looks exhausted, but he battles on. Veron's had a very good tournament. What a late shout this one is for Elmez Marie, the Pachuca player. We are coming up to 90 minutes right now. Four added minutes, just the four added minutes. So that's a pullback that will not be allowed by Avila, who's already been booked. 
not a bad offence though. So we are four minutes away from the penalty shootout between Mexico and Brazil in the final. And El Mesmari will replace Luna. So he won't have to take a penalty and I would imagine he'll be mighty relieved having missed one in this stadium against the Italians. Can we have late drama again here? Or is it going to go down to accuracy and luck and everything else from 12 yards out? Brazil hoping to get one final opportunity to find the Mexican net to send all these fans in Brasilia home happy. Likewise, the Mexicans will have uh, similar ambitions. We've had the first minute of the four added. Sometimes you sense that teams are settling for the scenario of the penalty shootout. Not so yet. Well, that was rather haphazard. Uh, it's Brazil's turn to try and close ranks. El Mesmeri gives the ball away, however. Brazil have five players inside the Mexican half, now only four of their uh, retreat in number. Better to have what they hold than to give something away at this late stage. And it may well be that they uh, have decided that it's going to be the lottery of the shootout. I'm sure the crowd hope not. But so they would have settled for that a few minutes ago when Mexico were in the lead with that Gonzalez header. Crowd roars again here now, though, as Brazil flood forward in number, probing, trying to get Jan Cotto into a shooting position. The cross ball in! <laughs> Lightning really does strike twice. Talk about inspired substitutions. Lazaro from Flamengo has probably won the World Cup for Brazil, in Brazil, against Mexico. And for the second time in four days, the player who'd had a bit part in this World Cup has proved to be the darling. Jan Koto did hard work, he got the crossball in, Lazaro arrived behind the Mexican back line, which is caught out for the first time tonight, really. Listen at the crowd reaction here. We are to be spared a penalty shootout if there is no more score. And Lazaro, who'd had 30 minutes of action in this World Cup until the semi-final, he came on then and won it against France. He's come on now, and he's overwhelmed. This time he doesn't take the shirt off. He got booked for doing that last time. What incredible drama in the Under-17 World Cup final of 2019. Born in the stars. Maybe he is born to be a star. Make a note of the name. Lazaru. we have 30 seconds to go. I'm sure the referee will add on a minute because of the celebrations. He's still milking the moment. Could you blame him? The Mexicans cannot believe it. Brazil are going to take off the architect of that goal, Jan Cotto, and uh, bring on Gustavo Garcia for 30 seconds. This place is about to erupt unless Mexico score. For the third time in this stadium, Brazil have come back from a goal behind. They were 2-1 down to Chile, they won that 3-2. They were 2-0 down to France, they won that 3-2. They were a goal down to Mexico. And that was after 66 minutes, and they're now on the verge of a fourth World Cup final victory at under-17 level. Mexico have a free kick, though, so let's uh, take nothing for granted as yet. But they have taken off their star exponent of free kicks. Here we have the, the challenge on Gonzalez that produces the free kick. We've already had the best part of five minutes of the added four, if that makes sense. Mexico one, Brazil two. There's disbelief amongst the Mexican supporters as well. 
just when they thought they were repeating the success over the Brazilians in 2005. They're now relying on some success from this free kick, which Brazil has to defend. Way past the allotted time added on. Vital moment in the game, it needs a good delivery, it gets the header out and over, goal kick. Get ready to party, get ready to samba. The World Cup for under-17s is coming to Brazil. Yellow card for time-wasting for Donelli. Any moment now, Gamma will erupt. The referee will raise his arms, he will end the contest. Champions of 2019, Lazarou! What a name, what a star, and what a night for Brazilian football. When all seemed lost, they were not to be denied. They have proved their resilience and they've come back to beat Mexico in the final thrillingly by two goals to one.